Well, Dan, welcome to Birmingham City and welcome back to the Midlands as well. Thank you. Uh, what are your thoughts about this transfer? I'm buzzing. Um, I didn't expect it really. It came a little bit out of the blue, and um, but no, I couldn't be happier. You know, I'm back home with my family and I'm at a massive club and I just can't wait to get started now. How how do you see yourself fitting into this Blues side? What what do you think you can offer? Um, I think I can offer um, like a good uh, attacking style to the team. Um, we have some really good players and um, the gaffer seems really good. Um, so I think it'll be good for me and, and the team. You know, add something different. Maybe they've been missing or or, or add more more to it. And I know already Craig Gardner has helped to make you feel welcome and taken you under his wing a little bit in the last couple of days or so when the transfer was being sorted. What's Craig said to you and how, how big a help has he been already? Yeah, he's um, he's been great. He was a massive factor in, in coming here. Um, you know, he's got so much experience in the game and he's a, he's a local boy. He knows what it's like to play for such a club like Birmingham. Um, so, you know, he's he's been, he's been brilliant. Um, you spent the last two and a half years in Holland, playing in Holland. You've done very, very well there. You signed off by helping Willem to the cup final. How big and helpful an experience has, has those two and a half years been for you? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I needed to get some game time and I did that in Holland. It was a really good experience. It was tough, you know, living away from home and on my own, but it matures you as a person and as a, as a player. And, um, I'm really thankful I did that. Yeah, I was going to me mention that. I've read a couple of things where you've said you've matured as a, as a person, but also as a player. And as a player, you said sometimes you just used to think about yourself, how, what you could do to look good. But now you're more team orientated. You, you sort of tend to know what it needs to, to be in that team integration. Yeah, massively. Um, managers aren't going to play you if, if it's just about you. Um, it's what you add to the team. It's, it's how you make the team better. And that's what I realised, you know, I was I was fed up of being on the bench and not knowing why, but, you know, something clicked and I started to understand the game more and I realised it's not about me, it's um, it's about the team. Tell us how you played for Willem, what, what sort of kind of style did they have and what did they want from you? Um, we, uh, we played an attacking style, but kind of like on the counter, you know, so it was a lot of defending and... Um, and that kind of stuff. It was good for me, um, but I think I think this team will, will definitely be better for me with you know two sitting players behind me, and hopefully it will give me a little bit more freedom um, to help score more goals, add more assists, and kind of add that side to to this team. Do you think this move to Blues is an opportunity for you to uh, fulfil that undoubted potential that we know you have, and maybe prove a few people wrong? Yeah, massively. Um, you know, it's my chance to show everyone and um, prove to myself that I'm good enough to play at this level. And um, I'm, it doesn't matter about my size or or my strength. You know, I'm ready to show everyone that I am good enough, and this is this is my level. And um, hopefully, get Blues back up to the Premiership. Let's talk about your early career. You were making waves at Aston Villa and went to Arsenal in 2013. I mean, at the time, that was a big move, and it created quite a hoo-ha, didn't it? Yeah. Um, was that the right thing to do at that age? You know, I don't think there's a, a right or wrong thing to do in football. Um, you know, everybody's journey is different and you need to you need to go off your feeling at the time and that was my feeling, that was what I really wanted to do. Um, it's difficult when you have Arsene Wenger telling you to come to Arsenal, you know, how, how do you turn that down as a 15-year-old? Um, so I, at the time I thought it was, a, it was the best for my career and you know, it didn't go as, as planned and how I wanted it to, but you, you, if you don't have any mistakes, you don't you don't learn, you know, you don't learn off your, um, off constantly being on the up all the time. You need you need to have these failures, not failures, but these things that don't work out how you wanted to, to, to better yourself and develop as a player and as a person. And you had loan spells when you were at Arsenal, and I think by your own admission, maybe you weren't prepared for, for those sort of spells and what to expect, and you had disagreements with your managers and so forth. Is it again that, that sort of maturity process you, you've learned from, from those experiences there? Yeah, massively. I was 17 when I first went on loan and I was still a kid and I didn't have a clue what I was getting myself into really or, or what, what the men's world was like. And it, it was difficult for me. 
you know, um, just because you're good at football and you're good with the ball at your feet doesn't mean to say you're, just because I was mature with my feet and the way I played, but I wasn't mature enough uh, mentally and that's why it didn't work out. But like I say, you, you need these failures and these these things to help you become a better person and player. And I've definitely learned how I need to behave and you know when to, because I'm a very honest person and um, I say how I'm feeling, but there's there's definitely time and places when you don't do that. And now I've learned that if it's going to disrupt the team and if I'm going to be a dis disruptive character in the team, then the manager's just not going to have it. Um, it's interesting. I'm going to ask you about that. I mean, I've I've seen you say yourself, you, you're you're a strong personality. You're not afraid to speak your mind, and and you're a bit like Marmite. You said for some people, do you think you're perhaps a little bit misunderstood? Therefore, yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say it's all everyone else's fault, but because I have to, I have to um, change around different people and what work with other people, and um, you know, and they have to get to know me, and I have to get to know them, and. I just want to come here and play football and keep my head down and um, have a great time. I, I want to forget about my past now. I think I've kind of shown everyone that I have matured and um, I am a better person to be in the team. And I, I think I've I've deserved that right to, to not keep having that, that label by my name because I've gone to Holland and I haven't had a problem in two years. You know, of course you fall out with people, you have little arguments on the pitch, but this is football, you're with these people every day and when 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 you want to win as much as I do and as much as you should then of course you're going to argue and maybe disagree with some people but I just want to get her and play football. It was a big step to, to leave Arsenal to go to Holland for that regular football but it's proven to be the right one. Yeah it was it was difficult at the time and I was still only young and then you go eat I'm really close to my family and you go from seeing them all the time and being around them all the time to then to nothing to maybe seeing them twice a month and it was hard but I knew it was the right thing for my football so I had to do it I know when you were at Arsenal Jack Wilshire a sort of a player you've been likened to he, he helped you and gave you a lot of public praise didn't he and since coming here when the news broke James Madison said you would be a great signing um, do you feel that kind of pressure that kind of expectation or has you be, sort of become used to it I've had that pressure since I was 14 um I like pressure. I thrive off pressure. If if I didn't have pressure, then I wouldn't enjoy the game so much. You know, I like impressing people. I like showing everyone what I can do, and um, you know, it's great pra praise from the, these um, such big players, and they're good friends of mine. So now I'm going to prove them right. And we know you've played for both England and Ireland youths, but I think the senior Ireland team that's to break in there. That that's one of your ambitions, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it is. I thought maybe it might happen last season, but it didn't. Um, that's football. That's life. Um, I know if I'm playing regularly here and playing playing well and how I should be, then I think the call up will be um, round soon. Just looking ahead to this campaign, um, I guess you must be really highly motivated to get cracking in the championship and show what you can do. Um, and I guess you'll be all the better, all the all the more wiser, all the more ready for it, given what you've been through. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, as soon as I came, I had a feel, the feel of the place, and I knew it was um, a club on the up, and they only want to go one one direction, and that is to the Premiership. You know, speaking to Craig and and different people and guys, you know, in the in the gaffer, they are really ambitious people, and and that's the kind of players and people I want to be around. Um, they want to get to the top. I want to get to the top. You know, and. We have one. We have one job, and that is to do that. Just leads me on nicely. I mean, what are you hoping you can achieve on a personal level at Blues? And you know, what should the targets be for the team, for the club? Um, I want to play. I want to play every game. That's just in my nature. Um, I hate being on the bench and not playing. So yeah, play as play as many games as possible. Score a load of score some goals, get some assists, and just help the team um, get the win. Dan, thanks very much for your time for talking to us on Blues TV and all the very best of luck and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.